Gameplay may be king, but there's something to be said about a game that also exudes seemingly unlimited amounts of charm and humor. While Guacamelee has great gameplay, it's the latter stuff that sets it apart. The newest game from Drinkbox Studios, the guys that brought you Tales from Space games on PS3 and Vita, Guacamelee is a platformer that takes a page out of the Metroidvania book of game design. But it also adds something all its own, with beautiful graphics, satisfying combat, and whimsical characters. <laughs> What I immediately noticed about Guacamelee is how gorgeous it is with its fluid animation, vivid color palettes, and likable characters. Players are cast in the role of the quiet protagonist named Juan, an everyday agave farmer who is almost immediately thrust into a most unusual situation. In a plot twist that fully represents just how little this game takes itself seriously, El Presidente's daughter is kidnapped by a skeletal foil named Carlos Calica. Calica exists in both the living and dead worlds, a binary system that rests at the center of Guacamelee. And incidentally, Kalka kills Juan only five minutes into the game. But Juan lives again as a luchador, bearing a mask that gives him incredible power. Apart from Guacamelee's gorgeous graphical flair, there's a worthy and fitting Mexican-inspired soundtrack. Disappointingly, Guacamelee doesn't have any voice acting, though as a game so clearly and heavily inspired by the games of yore, voice acting may have felt out of place anyway. <laughs> Guacamelee is likely to draw players in with the promise of a non-linear, open-world, Symphony of the Night-like map to explore, but what really kept me in the experience is its strong, combo-based combat. It felt a little stiff at first, but once you really gain a feel for Guacamelee, combat becomes utterly satisfying. Juan's ability to grapple, punch, kick, and throw is downright awesome, and when these moves are used in conjunction, a stunningly deep combat system is uncovered. It's one that you'll need to explore in its entirety if you want to get through the story in one piece. And then there's Guacamelee's emphasis on flipping between two worlds. Going between the dead and living world isn't quite as much at the crux of the game as I thought it would be, which is disappointing since it would have been another way to set this game apart. But Guacamelee still uses this mechanic in clever puzzles and feats of platforming that will challenge even the most seasoned of old school gamers. Fighting enemies that only exist in one world or the other is an especially clever design decision. Of course, exploration is also one of Guacamelee's strong suits. The story drives you in one direction, but like Super Metroid or the slew of Castlevania games on GBA and DS that came before it, Guacamelee also lets you see and do a whole lot off the beaten path. Exploring the map in its entirety will uncover tons of treasure chests, and you can use the loot to buy various moves, skills, and buffs. You'll even find barriers of various colors that must be broken with specific moves Juan doesn't learn until later, giving you plenty of reasons to backtrack and explore every nook and cranny. That's a hallmark of the Metroidvania genre, and it's done well here. Guacamelee even takes a page out of the RPG genre with some side quests to complete, some more interesting than others. If there's one thing that disappointed me with Guacamelee above all else, it's that it's not longer. I could have gone on playing for 20 hours, but you could very realistically beat it in a single day. It took me just five and a half hours to beat it and get a 70% completion rating. Guacamelee almost moves too fast, which is fine considering it's a cheap download, but games like this should be savored, not rushed through. With crossplay, an unlockable hard mode, and admittedly unnecessary local co-op multiplayer, Guacamelee also gives you multiple reasons to come back for more, which is an ample defense of its short game time. Even if you get a 100% rating, chances are you'll want to do it all over again. Guacamelee is a wonderfully realized game that shows how successful a game can be when it approaches a worn genre while thinking very much outside the box. For more on Guacamelee, keep it on IGN. <laughs>